So today, we will be talking about the differences in using 100 crit rate fat lucian versus a 70 crit rate uh, fat lucian. Um, so this is the fat lucian for your reference. And I've prepared a um, short image on um, the guide that I'll be talking about today. Um, so this is what we'll be discussing. The 100 crit rate fat lucian versus the 70 crit rate fat lucian. And um, you'll see the team compositions in the um, photo. And on the first point, we'll be talking about um, rune requirement and differences um, in that rune requirement and monsters. Uh, so for the first one, the 100 crit rate one, or as close to 100 as possible, um, your Lucian has to be on that Rage Blade set to get as much, um, as much crit rate as possible and maximum crit damage. And then your Bernard will be holding your fastest um, Swift Broken set and your Konamiya Dova will be having a Swift Fight set. And then for your Alicia, um, it's gonna be on two fight sets plus one wheel set. However, that will require very, very high room requirements. And then what I'm using is a four set plus a wheel. And for 70 crit rate Lucians, um, your Lucian can be broken, um, but rage. As long as you have that 70 crit rate and maximum amount of crit damage, the attack percent won't matter that much in subs because you are making up that attack percent with the um, 44 lead plus the 33, um, sorry, the three sets of fight on your Alicia or two sets of fight on your Alicia. Um, alternatively, you can go um, once fight set and four set. Um, but the purpose of the 70 crit resolution is for your Lucian to do the most damage as possible. But it requires very, very specific rune quality. You need runes that have crit damage, quad, triple rolls at the highest efficiency levels to make this Lucian work if you want to do the most damage. Um, the crit rate buff comes from Immensity. Your Immensity is your second attack bar booster with a Bestet being your main. Um, this stat is not obtainable, not free to play like Bernard. So what makes this team work is you have a shield buff um, and a defense buff. So any incoming damage to your team um, makes it relatively safe because you have such um, such good support to back up your um, your DPS unit, your Alicia, your Pisama, or your Lucian. Um, so that one makes this team work if you do need a second life, if your Lucian does not clean house on first turn. However, with 100 crit rate Lucian, what I use is we have um, Teon that gives you um, a revive. Um, so if your Lucian dies from like a Perna proc, um, you can bring it back. And it does require a little higher room requirements um, because one, you need the 100 crit rate. Two, you actually need some HP on your Alicia and it does have to be on will. That is the most important part um, for consistency. Um, so all the monsters on the top um, is more obtainable than the bottom one because Bastet is um, it's a busted unit and everybody should want that. So the biggest difference between the teams are the 100 crit rate Lucian does a little less damage while the 70 crit rate fat Lucian does a lot more damage because you're sacrificing 30 crit rate for um, 30 crit damage. And in theory, um, you should be winning on turn one with um, fat Lucian uh, on 70 crit rate. But on 100 crit rate, you have Alicia to clean up. Um, it does a lot more damage um, just because your four sets are more obtainable than your um, your three fight sets that recently came out. Um, so we'll just jump back in um, here to show you my Bernard. So this is my Bernard. It is on Swift Broken. Um, here are the runes. And we'll be talking about uh, point number th um, two and three combined um, throughout these examples I'll be providing um, using my arena wings. So having all fight versus a fight will um, lead monster is um, really based off consistency, right? 
Um, I like having one will unit, uh, I'm sorry, one will on my unit right here. This is my Alicia, one will. Uh, because when you are facing against P-Samas, you cannot, you cannot afford to be stunned if you are rushing and trying to get and sneak into G1, G2, G3, Legend, whatever. Um, if you look at the guide uh, for the 70 Cray Fat Lucian, um, you'll notice that you can run three fight on Alicia. Um, the reason being is because you do have two shield, um, you have a shield buff and a defense buff, which means your Alicia probably will not die to a P Sama proc uh, with a nemesis that's two hits. And then your rune quality is probably a lot less because fight runes are not as obtainable, right? Um, so I will demonstrate to you why I run this type of fat Lucian because the, versatil the versatility is so much better than running um, this fixed team at the bottom here with the semi crit Lucian with the Messity, right? Um, right now, on the newest patch, I believe that the Tiana speed meta is, is coming back in full force. So I'm, I'm expecting a lot and a lot of P-Sama, Tiana, plus two fire unit, um, wind unit, or a water unit. So that's probably Perna, Ratesh, Rakan, Rika, Jean. Um, those are probably the most common types you'll see paired with um, Pisama, Tiana, because that's the control. Um, so here, I will demonstrate you demonstrate to you um, how this is more flexible. And with this new meta that I'm seeing, I think that um, Bernard's base speed at 111 versus 96 of Bastet's is the difference maker. Um, it requires... Um, because, because you want to run 44 lead as much as possible and not have to sacrifice, um, damage for, um, it's all about clear time, right? So I don't want to sacrifice damage to contest like this. I want to be able to go in with my Bernard's base speed that's higher than the enemy's, um, you know, Orion, um, uh, Tiana especially. This is pretty close to Bernard, so I would I would not risk doing something like this. So let's find a Tiana example. Okay, All right. So if this Tiana is a super fast Tiana, then I'll be punished. Um, at the highest level, you know whose Tiana is faster than you. And if I recall properly, this one is faster than mine. Um, so let me just make some changes just, just for the video. Because um, this is not actually my fastest set. Okay, so let me, let me try. Let's see if um, this individual outspeeds me. So Tiana's base speed again ninety six, and um, Bernard's one one one. Right. Um, if I had to use peace on the lead, I don't get the reset with Alicia against Perna, so that will be slowing my clear time down, and I don't want that. All right. So my room quality is superb uh, because Bernard's base speed allows um, you to only need. A little bit more speed um, without a speed lead. Um, Tiana's range from anywhere from 150 um, to plus 190 speed on defense. So, um, and you have to um, remember, not everybody has a dupe Tiana to run on defense and AO. It's really hard to speed tune a Tiana that's 190 speed to your AO, right? So I got cut here, and I might be punished here. It could be that I wasn't speed tuned or this um, this Tiana was on Nemesis. Uh, but nonetheless, um, I still went first and Alicia cleans up. Right. So let's find more examples of um, of because abu abusing Bernard's base speed versus Bastet against seventy percent Lucian, 
um, it is the game changer here, right? So for this, because Frigate's base speed is very similar um, to Bernard, um, assuming if you had the same room quality, um, Bastet wouldn't be able to outspeed this. Um, and running Kabila on defense is very, very rare. Um, so if I did this, I, I, I'm guaranteed to go first. But um, if you have, if, if you're if you're just rushing in general, you can just assume that your room quality is better, and the immensity the immensity team with the stat will still work. Um, this is not the biggest reason why um, I think Bernard's better. I do have to find more um, clear examples since I'm doing this live. So you go first go on the Pisama. Uh, the Ber Perna was too slow, so I don't get the opportunity to just reset it. Okay. So that was you know, a pretty fast clear, 30 seconds. Uh, this is Wednesday, um, so this is still pretty early on in the week. Uh, but I am in G3 right now, so these defenses are pretty legit. Um, so this is a great example, right? Um, this was only a 24 lead, and Tiana's base speed, again, is um, just not, not cutting it. So here, um, the strategy is I'm not contesting speed lead with speed lead, and I'm just going to one-shot his team. And if, I, if there's any fire-heavy units... I am just going to use Alicia to clean them up. So that's the um, that's that's the, that's the thought process here, and we destroyed them. And then I'll just give it to you. Um, I'll since, since he since he attacked me twice, I'll show you um, the example with um, peace on me, right? Um, let's assume that, you know, I don't know how fast this is, or maybe he's faster than me. I got to contest speed lead um, with speed lead. Um, I, love it. I got um, a little bit more than him. Um, let's just see if I can even one-shot him, because I'm missing that 44 lead. See, see how the gene lives? If the gene lives and your Pisama isn't speed-tuned, then he probably gets control of the match. And then it delays, it further delays your, your win. And since they nerfed the Fairy Kings, uh, you can't strip Rakans anymore. So it's like an indirect buff um, to, to a lot of the fire units. Um, Juno especially, because now that you land Glancing on it, it's just going to heal. Um, so the, the small change that they did to the Fairy Kings is actually... Um, it has, it has, has its effect in Arena here. But you can see that it's definitely a little slower than... Um, the first time I hit him. And it's all about clear speed. Right. So again, we have another person that I can abuse. Um, same concept here. I'm just going to outspeed because my rune quality is better. And Bernard's speed's better. So this should take mo no more than um, 15 seconds if you don't clear, clear um, low time. And again, the difference of staying C3 to G1 is you have to clear fast enough in the last 10, 15 minutes to sneak in if you're not rushing for the full hour, right? Or even 30 minutes. And if you have clears like this, you can see how fast um, you can climb and get into G1. You probably only need 10 swords. It's not about your defense. It's really a rune check and how fast you can climb up. So this is what I mean by um, the third point here, um, Bernard versus Bastet as your, um, as your base booster. Because um, Bastet has the same base speed as Tiana, and if you are running, um, there are really super fast Tianas in G3 when I rush for a legend, so I do know those individuals and I do try to avoid them. Okay, here. Here, this is the same concept here, right? Um, Oki is usually run on a really quick swift set, um, but typically, I would not put, run this into this, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, so he was faster than me. So next time, I know I have to contest with one speed lead. It has to be um, a 24 lead. It has to be 
a 33 lead here. So if you were like just rushing for G3 and because the gap, um, the amount of players are so low, you would recognize this and not do it again. But imagine if I had to contest speed lead with speed lead, my Pisama would not have done what Alicia have done here. Okay. So a lot of the teams I'm skipping, it's because um, you can just find um, that Bastet and Messity can do this exact same thing. Because for defenses like this, um, with the Omduat and a Stripper, you can just outspeed Resurge and then this, this will not cut you. Um, so that's why I'm not hitting that. Um, so this is also a good example. So if this has his fastest Swift set, um, you don't have to contest speed lead with speed lead. And if this is base speed is probably the difference, um, then that will probably be the reason why you lost. So Bernard's base speed is, I believe, um, five faster. Um, and again, every speed counts in arena. Those um, four to five legend grinds that you have in your swift runes, uh, you really need them to be five. Right. So that defense is probably not legit in rush hour, but the concept um, you know, still applies. So this one uh, leads me back to my second photo. I'm uh, sorry, my first photo again. But you'll see on the right side, it says other variations with Bernard as your main attack bar booster. So this is... I think the most, the second most important part. It allows you to run double Lucians, but also um, Alicia and then a Speed Lucian. So on the right side, I'm going to use using the first team. I don't own a Bastet, so I can't use that. Uh, but that's basically it's going to be safer. Um, the logic here is Lucian, 100 crit rate, um, 70 crit rate, whatever. It's going to glance on fire, and if that's a three um, HP. Manessa and a tank Perna, then I'm not going to do anything with a fat Lucian. It doesn't matter how much damage it does, it does, you're risking the glance, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm giving the attack buff to her so that she can clean up the Perna. Perna Pisama is a leech of food. Um, so whenever you have the opportunity to abuse them like this, um, it's going to be a fast clear. Okay. Was he on Nemesis? Regardless, um, Molong got nerfed. Um, shouldn't worry. And then you use the fire, um, the water unit to clean up the fire units. But if Molong stunned me there, um, if Molong stunned me there, then that'd be a big problem. Um, my Alicia is not speed tuned. Um, exactly it's it's speed tuned for my tiana team so there is a um small discrepancy in speed but it is really difficult to speed tune your tiana teams and your and your um your lucian teams okay let's see if we can find any more of those tianas um Here's not. Okay. I will do like one more refill to see if I can show you guys anything. So the problem doing this live is this. So running Bernard as your um as your booster, your lead booster allows you to do double Lucians and any teams that are really really tanky like this um, you can use double Lucian but I've made a double Lucian guide in my other videos if you want to check that out um, it goes in with way more detail there um, so I see him again um, I think I did this earlier so I don't think I want to hit him again Oh, it looks like it looks like 
the game does not want me to do a live video. So I will just conclude it by saying the, the biggest, the biggest reason why I use the 100 crit rate Lucian is because of this team. My Light Panda Killer team.